Bye. Okay, last stage. Last stage for today. How do you feel? Hari ini, nothing to lose for everyone. Everybody gonna push hard. Well, the race is almost over. It's been a, been a long, tough week, but you know, you guys have performed quite well, including uh, a little bit of a GC effort from yourself. Uh, yeah, hoping for a, a top 10 GC, but uh, again, got, got the better of us. Uh, the seat, seat ramps up for the final kind of. Uh, yeah, we lost a, a bit more time than we wanted. Um, obviously, one more day to go today, so you never know, it's always possible to sneak up and to into high GC placing, but yeah, it's more about uh, I guess it's safe today. Talk to me a little bit about the team and this year and your role with the team and of course this race. Uh, almost results aside, almost a bit of a road cap. Yeah, yeah. So I've come on board to Mitchelton this year to uh, help mentor and teach the Chinese riders. Uh, on the team, racing, um, everything on and off the bike as well. So um, a bit of a learning curve for me as well as well as them. Um, so to come into our first race and still be quite uh, competitive um, and still come away with some somewhat of a result um, is, is great. Um, shows uh, great potential for the rest of the year. Is that a role that you're comfortable with, especially coming off of one pro and the disappointment there? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, after the disappointment there and then obviously the, the state of the market and trying to find a, a ride for, for this year um, to not only have a, a ride which is with good race starts, good quality equipment, good staff and a good environment. Um, yeah, to find someone like that so late in the year is, is, yeah, is amazing. How big a factor was the one pro collapse for you personally and professionally? Uh, to be honest, by that point, um, I was pretty, almost ready to leave the team. Uh, I'd been there for three years. I felt like I wasn't really progressing as much as I wanted to or should have been by that point. Um, so unless it was one of my only options for the following year. Probably would have looked elsewhere. Um, so, yeah, I have no bad um, about what happened last year. It's just the way that something all works. What can we expect from you for the remainder of this 2019 season? What are the goals, the targets? Uh, so after this we've got uh, some another small tour in China in a month's time and then tour of Korea. Um, I think the, the training camp we had before this and then obviously coming to the first race has uh, knocked us around a little bit and just learning and finding our feet. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to coming to the next race with really good form and um, coming away with a, with a proper result for the team. Do you have a certain target as far as long term though where you envisage your career, a path your career taking? Uh, to be honest I only kind of was looking towards this year and finding a team so it's taken me a while to think about what I really want to do in the year to come. Um, Ideal scenario would be to move up within the team and stay under the Michelin uh, banner. But uh, I mean, if I really enjoy this year and working with the Chinese riders and it happens to be the same opportunity next year, then you never know, I might, I might, um, I might stay around. Uh, so, yeah, Good luck today.